Hi, this is Sean McCracken, your OC Realtor, bringing you the California dream of eco, sun, and fun. Today is Eco Day, and uh, what we're going to be doing is showing you how you can remodel your house and make it green. And we're going to use 733 Pelican as our example. But the first thing, you know, when you remodel a house is, you know, you got to take out all your, you know, uh, you got to demo the place, you got to take out all your material, you got to do, you know, take out your appliances. And many times in the past, they just would send it to the dump. Well, when you totally, you know, if you stay green, you really should recycle that. So, in the case of the appliances, we gave it to a company called Restore, which is part of the Habitat of Humanity, uh, where they build, you know, all these houses for, uh, for people that can't afford houses. Uh, as well as a lot of the marble and different wood that we gave to our friends south of the border down in, down in Mexico. But one of the big things uh, in making a net zero house, again, trying to keep your energy in the house, uh, preventing it from going in and out of the house, is an awning, as you can see here. And an awning is probably one of the best ways to keep the sun's energy out of your house, which again disrupts everything and many times re results in needing air conditioning. Like when you're here look, uh, on Laguna, in Laguna Beach, you know, most places don't have air conditioning. And the reason is the cool breezes and, uh, and the way, you, you know, again, you, very, many of the places are very energy efficient. So the awning will prevent the sun from going into the house, number one. And it, many times people try to use uh, curtains in order to do the same thing to keep the that the room's fairly dark. Well, in that case, the sun has already gone in the glass and, uh, and it's actually in the room. So the awning prevents that. But also, if we take a look here, take a look at the, uh, this is a west facing. So you can see the ocean over here. And, and therefore, most of the sun hits the west side of the, of the house. And so one of the things that we've done as well, you know, to, to uh, remodel and to keep it green is to use a high reflection glass here that, again, a lot of the sunshine hits that and then bounces back so it doesn't go into the house. Let's take a step inside here and uh, look at some of the other things. One is uh, LED lights. There's 80 cans uh, throughout the house, and you can see here with LED that there's there's no heat generated. I mean, if this was a regular incandescent bulb, you'd be burning your hands right now. So this will cut down your uh, utility bills by about 40 to 50 percent alone, especially when you have so many, you know, there. And if, if the only thing I don't like about these LED lights is that they last like 50 years. By the time I put them in, they're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to last longer than me. The second thing is that they're also on dimmers. So again, you can further decrease the energy used uh, by using by using the dimmer. Uh, let's get back and look here at the windows. Uh, all the windows here are put up by a company called Pacific Sierra and they're just like too good to be true. They maintain their own forest and uh, use sustainable wood. So in other words, anytime they, uh, they build a window, they use their own wood that they know it can be harvested and regrown. Um, and then it has low E glass. And one of the things about low E glass is that it uh, keeps the energy within the house. Uh, one of the other uh, things that uh, you look for in a greenhouse is the use of previous material. So if we look at the carpet here, this is made up of recycled material. And also, uh, these are recycled fibers, and also uh, the glues that are used throughout the house and in your carpet are non-toxic glues. One of the things also they're finding is that toxicity in the house is three times as great in the house than it is outside. And one of the reasons is, is the paints. Many times the paints have organic material in it that over time emit gases, toxic gases. So one of the things in this house is that they use low VOC paint. So it it's, it's designed so that it does not omit those toxins. So it keeps it for a healthy house. Let's go into the kitchen here real quick. Uh, 
these appliances, and this is you know one of the major things of, uh, of lead compliance, is that they're Energy Star compliant appliances. They're all high-end Thermador uh, appliances. Let's take a, a look over here at the bathroom. And as you can see here, there's dual flush toilets. And so again, it minimizes the amount of water. And also, there's a tankless water heater. So you probably have heard about those. Those are unbelievable. They're really small, like about like this. And it gives you instantaneous heat. So again, you're not, you're not uh, heating water all the time. It only is, heats the water when you need it. One is you want to recycle the material and appliances when you demo the house. Secondly, in their case, is uh, the awning uh, to keep out the, uh, uh, the sun on the west side of the house. Uh, also, to have used reflective glass so that, the, again, the sun, sunlight is reflected and that doesn't come in the house. The windows should be low E so that the energy that's in the house does not leave the house. Uh, when it's you know winter time or cool, uh, the other things are about the uh, uh, non-VOC paint. So there's no toxicity. It's a healthy house. You want to use as much recycled material as possible, uh, and such as in this case the the carpet fiber. Uh, you want to use non-toxic glues, uh, and then in the kitchen you want to use uh, energy efficient or Energy Star appliances, and um, also in the bathrooms, you want to use dual flush toilets as well as uh, se uh, motion sensitive sinks so that when you're not using the sink that it automatically turns off. Also you want to use low flow uh, appl um, appliances or, or fixtures in the bathroom so when it's coming out of your shower or anything else it's all again as, as using the minimum amount of water as possible. Uh, and the last but not least is the tankless water heater. Uh, so again, that just heats the water when it needs to be heated and it doesn't heat it up all the time. So I hope this has uh, been helpful for you. It uh, really makes for uh, a really healthy and low energy house which results in you being healthy and with a lower utility bill. So thank you so much, Sean McCracken, 733 Pelican. You can reach me at sean at welcometothedream.com. Go to my web website, welcometothedream.com. Go to, you know, you can subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks so much.